Vollering wins time trial to surge into women's Tour de France lead. Defending champion Demi Vollering won Tuesday's 6.3km time trial through the streets of Rotterdam to take over the lead after three stages of the women's Tour de France. Charlotte Kuhl made it two wins from two stages on home soil in the morning before fellow Dutch rider Vollering clocked the fastest time in the second part of a Tuesday doubleheader to grab the yellow jersey. Vollering powered around the course in 7 minutes 25 SEC to finish ahead of Olympic time trial bronze medalist Chloe Digert. She leads compatriot Lorena Wiebes in the overall standings by 3 seconds. I am very surprised that I managed to win this time trial. Even with a difference of 5 seconds. I have no idea how that's possible said Vollering. Such a short time trial of 6.3 kilometers is something we do very seldom. I thought this course was more for the sprinters she added. It is very special to win a stage in the Tour de France in my own country. And it is even more wonderful that I can start in yellow tomorrow in Valkenburg. For me this tour only starts with the stage from Valkenburg to Leech. Kristen Faulkner the Paris 2024 road race champion finished 6 seconds behind but Poland's Katarzyna Nuyadoma seen as Vollering's main rival lost 30 seconds. Nuyadoma came third in the last two editions of the race. Belgium's Lottie Kopecky the runner-up a year ago is not competing after taking part in the Omnium at the Olympics on Sunday. Olympic time trial champion Grace Brown of Australia suffered a puncture ruining her chances of winning the third stage. Earlier on Tuesday Belgian rider Audrey de Kiersmaker attacked early on the 67 km ride from Dordrecht to Rotterdam which saw numerous crashes. But it was Cool who overtook Wiebes the pre-race favorite who was hoping to make up for a problem with her chain on Sunday and Marianne Voss in the sprint up the final straight. I had to stay calm because it was very edgy explained Cool. I'm feeling strong whereas two weeks ago I wasn't feeling well. The race enters Belgium on Wednesday and finishes on Sunday with one of cycling's most challenging climbs up Alp de Hues. Dutch police on Monday estimated some 150 spectators lined the route for the opening stage with big crowds again on hand for Tuesday's stages. For women's cycling it's really great news to see so many people along the route said Vollering.